As a video game collector, I've amassed a large collection of games. Whether they are the games from my childhood, system exclusives, hidden gems, or recommendations, there are a lot. Herein lies the problem of finding the time to play them all. Well, that's about to change. Play or purge. Welcome back to another episode of Player Purge, where I take a game from my collection and decide whether to play it or purge it. Recently, I found a new YouTuber that I've been watching their videos that goes by SmashJT. He's got some great content on his channel, so you definitely want to go check it out. One of his videos I watched was called The Budget Gamer, the Super Nintendo Starter Pack. And this is where he lists games that were under $10 in value that are great games to start out for collecting on the Super Nintendo. And one of the games I'd never heard of before, and that game is one that I went and picked out, and it's the game we're going to look at today, King Arthur's World. Now this is a game that hasn't been on my radar to play, but I did get a request from Smash JT when he saw that I picked it up if I could cover that in my next player purge. So, Smash JT, this one's going out to you. We're ready to go. So far, the mouse works pretty good. Start password, arms and sounds. Let's start this up. Arthur search for an army. Training one, archers. King Arthur searches far and wide to find soldiers worthy of his first crusade. He need, oh, I didn't get to read it all. Okay, let's walk. What have we got here? Oh, I died. <laughs> you failed the test. All right, let's retry that again. Stop. No. Okay. He didn't stop walking. Oh, let's do this. Climb up the tree. No! Up. Okay. Cool. Oh, I need to wait. Until... Well, no, but they just fell the second I walked on them, didn't they? Okay, okay, I got it. Stop. So, he throws some stuff at me. One, two, three, go. Perfect. Stop. Now, I think he knocked that over to me, no? Yeah, wait for it. Okay, go. Stop. I'm almost there. Wait for that to dump. Don't want to take any chances. What? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to get it. Yeah. Well done. You've completed the test. Okay. So I saved uh, my archer buddy and I completed the test. Let's see what's going on here. So it looks like, oh, you always have to assess the situation. I not go through that door? Whoa, okay, what did I do there? Right click. Ah, <laughs> I gotcha. Now we've, now we're playing with fire, literally. Okay. Retreat. Booyah, ah, nice, okay. Nice. We'll just wait once more. Drop it. Boom. Wait for that to blow up. Whoa! Apparently, <laughs> I need to be further away. <laughs> okay, okay. I got it. I failed the test. 
I failed the test, but we're going to do it again. Yeah. It's nice to have another game where you can use the Super NES mouse as well. It's, it's, uh, it's nice. Okay. Whoa. Quite the range on the fire. Success! You've completed the test. Test of time. You have chosen wisely. I'm assuming I'm winning. What the heck is going on? This level is strange. They're just never ending coming. Let's see. Was it just that simple? Just beating the crap out of people? Yay! That was kind of meh. I've completed the test. Come hither and drink with me this mead. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um. Nice. Kind of cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little tricky with the mouse, that's for sure. Here we go. Put this down a bit. Uh, down? No. Uh, Go down. Oh, duh. There we go. Man, mouse controls are tricky. Okay, I gotta go up a little, one notch higher, maybe. There we go. Come on. One more up. There we go. Okay. So I actually did go and I kind of checked out some videos while I was waiting for my camera to charge. Just to see the controls because the controls on this without having a manual to know what to do were pretty tricky. And the mouse is probably a more difficult way to play this game than probably using the controller. But I don't know, it just feels right playing with the mouse. Wizards, is the great white wizard or the great gray wizard? Um, oh crap, there we go. Let's go, yeah buddy. <laughs> I almost killed myself with the flames there. Well done, you have completed that test. Archers and Barrelmen. So yeah, another thing I noticed is I didn't figure out how to switch to the other people before. So in the very first level, I was supposed to actually use archers. So this is going to be my first uh, hurrah with some archers here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's try... Yeah! Come on. Okay, uh, what else do I got here? I got... Oh, Whoops. <laughs> Did Arthur just die? Ah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> kind of cool how the barrel when he gets killed it explodes and can hurt you as well so friendly fire is on could use some uh, different music too this is kind of getting a little old 
do, 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 do. Woo! Blow them up. Blow them up real good. No, no, stop. Crap. Okay. Can Arthur do this? Oh, <laughs> that was bad. So, don't think I should have opened that door um, yet. Try it once more here. Can't tell if I'm killing anybody. Oh, a couple people. There we go. Kill them all. Good thing these guys got like unlimited ammo. Okay, so it looks like besides those guys, I got them all. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I don't think I can get that guy. He's too high. He's so high above me. He's so lovely. Let's just wait for that to drop one. Yes. Let's drink the grog. Nights. More nights. <laughs> so I'm out of nights. If I still, I need to get my archers. Ah, oh, Chaz! I got one. I got one. I wish I could see. Oh, I think I got two. Okay, Marcho. Where's my zoom in and out when you need it, eh? There we go. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Well done. You have completed the test. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I definitely have a lot of uh, play footage that I've done and a lot of experience with this game. So let's go back and analyze it. All right, so that was King Arthur's World on the Super Nintendo. What do I think? The controls definitely take a lot to get used to. It's not as fluent as playing on a PC game with a mouse. It is the Super Nintendo after all, so I wouldn't expect it to be like the mouse on a computer but there's definitely a lot of learning curve there with how to use the mouse and how the controls work. My guess is if I had to played it with a controller, which I didn't want to, because I think that game was meant to be played with a mouse, uh, it probably would have been a lot easier. The gameplay itself was definitely a typical strategy game. You have your units, you need to solve the puzzles or use the units properly to get through the level. And I found overall that it worked. I didn't mind just going from point A to point B and just your objective of getting through walls or killing enemies. I thought the game looked okay for a Super Nintendo game. Nothing amazing, but nothing horrible either. But the sound in it got repetitive. I would have liked a new song or a couple different songs depending on what the levels were. And the level design just seemed to get recycled over and over. I'm sure as you played in the game, the levels probably changed and it looked different. But for introductory level, there was quite a bit of repeating there. And the introductory level seemed to take a lot longer than what I thought they should. I figured maybe three or four levels, but I was well into seven or eight and it was still introductory levels. I may have seemed frustrated at times, but the fact that friendly fire was on with regards to blowing things up or using the fire from uh, the mages, uh, I kind of liked that aspect of it, it made you have to be more strategic in how you did things, although it was a little cheap at times when the fire would bounce off things and kill your characters. I think the game would have benefited from a zoom in and out feature. I don't know how well that would work on the Super Nintendo or if it would work at all, but definitely to be able to zoom out to see the whole area would have made it a lot better rather than having to hold and scroll over to see what was there. 
Now comes the time where I need to decide whether to play it or purge it. I decided to play it. Yes, I had enough fun with this game that I would like to go back and revisit it at some point. I know that Smash JT said to me, because I didn't like Lost Vikings on the Super Nintendo, this might be a game I don't like, but this felt a lot different than Lost Vikings to me. I think it's more because of the point A to point B and a lot less exploration. Yes, you still had to switch between the different characters, but there was just something about this one that drew me to it more. This is definitely a game that has a lot of charm, and for the price of it, it's definitely worth a pickup to put in your collection if you like strategy games. So thank you very much, Smash JT, for the suggestion on doing this. If anybody else out there has a suggestion on a game that they know I own, or one that I need to do a player purge on, let me know. I'll let you know if I played it or not, and we'll go from there. All right, thanks again for watching, and remember, until next time, game on and game often.